afternoon, folks. Uh, this is your ticker guy coming at you again from wonderful Niceville. Yeah, it's really me, just so you can tell. Um, <laughs> I've got another home daemon demo for you here. Uh, this one uh, is a little interesting. I've uh, I've added uh, the capability of the system to read these little uh, near field tags. You can get these things for about a dollar. They come blank. You can write anything you want on them, uh, and the software has been taught how to do that. So we have, uh, we're doing this here on my desk instead of at my front door because it's kind of a bitch to uh, see both sides of the door at once with a camera. It's uh, very hard to do. And if I actually open it, my cats will get out. So I could like, you know, put it on an angle, but then I'd be hurting cats. Not so good, huh? Anyway, so we're going to do it on the, on the uh, desk here where it's really easy. And I can, uh, don't have to move a camera around or have a gimbal or any of that crap. I can just point it and talk. All right, so anyway, the way this works is this. I have the system set up so that it can do anything that can be defined in the software as an event um, when one of these tags is read. So first thing we're going to do is uh, just to show you with, from a security perspective, somebody was to steal the tag and put it back on your phone when it's locked, nothing happens. And that's a security feature that's built into Android. The phone has to be unlocked in order for the tag to work. Uh, and again, these can have anything in them you want. We're going to just start with this here. I'm just going to scan the back of this thing. And the application comes up and beeps and says, uh, the tag not known, scan from the menu, from the tag menu. And the reason that that is there is so that you just don't end up scanning something that you don't know what it is. You have to actually teach it first. So we're going to go in here to manipulate NFC tags. And there are none known in the screen right now. Now we're going to scan it. And it comes up and says, okay, fine, now I know that it's here, but it says there's nothing assigned to it. I'm going to assign it to front door unlock. And then I'm going to go back here, and you can see that the door is, uh, right now, it is in prohibited mode, which means I can't use a keypad. Okay, that, that doesn't do anything. And I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to lock that door. All right, so now the door's locked, all right. I'm going to back completely out of this application so it's not open. Now all i got to do is walk up to the front door and I've hidden this little guy. Maybe I got it inside my, uh, my garage door uh, outdoor keypad, you know those little numeric pads. You can stick it on the inside of the plastic there. You could uh, put it in pretty much anything that doesn't shield it completely because there's a little circuit board on the back of these things. Uh, but you can stick it somewhere, you could paint over the top of it, whatever. And all I do is touch the phone to the, the tag and look at that. So this thing has no cryptographic information in it at all. All of the authentication, everything else is inside the application. If you are signed out of the app, if you're not logged in, it doesn't work. So what that means is, is that the security is handled inside the device, not in the tag. These tags, again, about a dollar a piece. You can write them with whatever string you want in them. Uh, the one that I have in here uh, says open says me, so it's nice and easy. You could call it front door if you want or whatever have you. But again, there's, there's no security information in here. It's useful to somebody trying to break into your house. All the security is within the application itself and within the home daemon system. Um, and again, this link between the door and the system is encrypted AES-128. So highly secure, again, keypad. Still no go-go, because I got it turned off. I could turn it back on, but right now it's off. And uh, you can have that open if you want to, but you don't have to. It's uh, contactless. Just wave and go, kind of like you pay for a Starbucks coffee. If you're an entrepreneur and looking to pick this thing up and put it out into commercial production, folks, it'll never be cheaper tomorrow than it is today. As the capability continues to expand, the price just keeps going up. Have a good one, and I'll talk to you soon.